82 сайта государственной и местной власти и 82 state and local government websites and seven service platforms, namely of bank and state institutions, have come to the notice of the analytical group, and none of them part the inspection. Despite the accelerated digitalization, Ukrainian services still fail to provide inclusiveness. Ukraine has really made significant progress in digital transformation. Both private and public sector are utilizing these opportunities that the digital age provides today. Ukrainians buy, sell, learn, look for a job, do banking or book their travel now online. Together with the Ministry of Digital Transformation, UNDP has analyzed the level of accessibility of nearly 100 governmental online resources. The conclusion is quite clear. Nearly all government online resources are not accessible to people uh, such as vulnerable groups. While government services have to meet legislative regulations strictly, which provides patent norms for vulnerable groups, the application developers are not required to meet a commitment to creating, for example, a special website version for visually impaired users, the Minister of Digital Transformation comments. We have developed a list of standard mistakes. Ten are critical and five are marked non-critical. The absence of a quick link to the main page, the lack of contrast is also a typical blunder. When the level of contrast is lower than four and a half points, people with such visual impairment can't see the text. Lack of inclusion is observed not only in the digital space. Cities and towns seek to become barrier-free. The office of the Ombudsman in Ukraine states for the first six months of this year they received 40% more appeals from people with special needs than for the same period last year. 37% of claims refer to the violation of a right to access information. That's why the current initiative which the Ministry of Digitalization drives in with the support of international organizations is a very important initiative. The ministry has detailed guidance for developers of public service websites. Also, the Cabinet of Ministers will oblige Internet providers to adapt their sites for people with special needs and create a special state body to monitor compliance with the rules. Reported by Nick Starkov and Larissa Zubenka, UATV News.